श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितार्किकेशरी वेदाताचार्य मे सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदय नमो नारायण लेट्स कंटिन्यू टू एंजॉय द मोस्ट वंडरफुल श्री सूक्ति ऑफ स्वामी यामनाचार्य स्त्रोत्र रत्न टुडेस वर्सेस नंबर सेवन तत्व यहिमाशीकु शक्यो न मधुमी सर्वपिता महाध्य कर्त तदीय महिमस्ति मुध्यताय मह्यम नमोस्तु कवगे निरपत्रपाय स्वामी आलमंदार आफ्टर बीइंग ब्लेस्ड बाय पेरमा ही नाउ गोस ऑन टू कंटिन्यू हिस् स्त्र एंड वी हर्ड अबाउट the tirukkuruhe kavalappan incident when tirukkuruhe kavalappan was in his dhyanam contemplative mode in trance alavandar had gone to his ashram to prostrate at his feet and to learn yoga rahasyam which was taught by his grandfather shriman nathamuni to tirukkuruhe kavalappan he wanted to learn from him so since kavalappan had his eyes closed and was in deep meditation swami alavanda stood along with few others who had also assembled there behind kuruhe kavalapan kannan who was blessing who was having the who had shown himself to tirukuruhe kavalapan in his sakshatkaram in the in the meditative posture with his dhyana darshan turned his tirumukam Kannan turned his trimukam to Alavandar by pushing his pushing Kavalapan's head to the side, and Kannan wanted to see Alavandar, having seen that in his inner eye, Kuruhai Kavalapan opened his eyes and asked the people who had assembled there, "Is there anyone here from Sri Man Nata Muni Vamsam?" As Kannan favors that Kulam. only with their for their unalloyed bhakti to them to him immediately swami alavandar fell at his feet again when such a person from such a wonderful shriman nathamuni kulam begins to praise shriman narayanan his stotras of course lord krishna immediately shows his swarupa roopa gunam in his full entirety to alavandar for him to start praising so alavandar while began he began to praise he saw he could he could remember chaturmukha brahma and rudra getting stumbled in their praising permal where am i and why how can i start as well when they themselves could not praise you completely and he hesitates that's the shlokam तत्व यहाँ महिमाशीकु वशीकु सख्यो न मतुमी सर्वपिता महाध्य कर्त तदीय महिमस्तुति मुद्यताय मह्यम नमोस्त कवय निरपत्रपाय दूस वोषण आफ कल्याण गुण द कल्याण गुणगण महारणव द ग्लोरी अंड सुप्रीमसी ईवन द मैन्यूटस्ट पोषण आफ ए ड्रॉपलेट आफ दीज कल्याण गुण cannot be measured truly he is incomprehensible and immeasurable his kalyana gunas cannot be praised even by the likes of rudran and chaturmukha brahma and it is difficult even for them and i am attempting to sing shamelessly at the greatness of lotus feet of such supreme lord shriman narayanan and my obeisances to me to this poet who exhibit such rash attempt let other people as well as let other people as well tease mock and perform the tease namaskaram at my brash attempt let them laugh vishwa vishwachar vishwacharyaha vidishiva mukaha the chaturmukha brahma rudra are all first acharyas had they not taught others who would have known and learned the vedas and shastras even if they all assembled together along with their respective shishyas collectively praise and even if i am with them at that point point of time 
even a fraction of a droplet of ocean of kalyana gunas of yours narayana they cannot do justice including me and complete that fraction even when such is the case without feeling ashamed of my brazen attempt shamelessly i'm trying to begin and praise you knowing that this is wrong and not appropriate i'm not even ashamed that's the beauty of it the world laughs at me and still i do not feel shameful namaskarams to my daring shameless attempt even if others tease i am not getting any shame and continue to praise even if it's not coming out to praise for you still let it continue the tongue is not my control anymore not even me i am not in my control at all all are his control shriman narayana's control it is bhagavat sankalpam that i have begun to praise and even if there is any punishment for this act still i do dare enter into this act i perform namaskaram to my attempt but my composition would not stop what a great vakyam this reminds me of um, swami kuratalwans sri vaikuntha stavam there also he says janan nabi ha khilama manapatra vishnu vishnu pada pranayinim khilama driyeham nashwavalidam api tirtha matirtha mahu nodanyata api cha suna khila lajjitavyam even if i am disqualified i have begun to sing perman i know that how ignorant i am i know my limitations in regard to my learning i i do not but stop i dare start on a praise stotrams nevertheless i had started unashamed unabashedly to speak in love of the feet of perman but then people do not disqualify the holy waters of ganga and the like just because a dog has sipped the holy water of ganga with its unholy tongue nor it is right to consider that the dog should have shied away from drinking the water even when, when it feels thirsty it's not logical so also my love it is the deep thirst that makes me compose these praise even though i am an unfit dog like creature swami says so nicely that he is as lowly as the dog and swami desigan takes the same cue from kuratalwan and alavandar and he mentions in sharanagati deepika the 42nd verse of sharanagati deepika where he says padmamahi prabhriti pi paribukta bhumnah kaha niratra mai bhoktri te pavitri dushyet kimangri tadini tava deva sevya durvara darsha chapalena suna vavalida suna vavalida so in that he says o shri man narayana if i attempt to reach you praise you to serve you in your shri vaikuntham when you are in enjoyment in the company of shri bhu and others what offense of harm would i be doing to have cost to your splendor to your tejas nothing because if the river ganga flowing from your feet cherished by shiva and other devas it's a celestial river he is licked and drunk by a dog of unquenchable thirst and what's the abuse that it commits nothing none i pres- presume would anyone condemn the dog would anyone discard the dog scold the dog for licking the ganges waters not at all i i am just like that four legged dog i can very well quench my thirst by serving and enjoying you in the company of your spouses mahalakshmi bhu neela devi so thus we have a cherished destiny in bhagavat kaikaryam we are blessed to perform bhagavat kaikaryam and bhagavat stuti so we should continue to recite these stotrams and praise him we may in our humility treat us ourselves like a dog our atma is so dear to the lord we can enjoy the anubhavam no stigma no taboo this is the essence of this verse swami alavandar trivadgale sharanam kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalane 
ಶ್ರೀಮತೇ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶಾಯ ವೇದಾಂತ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಅಡಿಯೇ